What's up guys, hey Anthony here at In Gear, and we have an awesome uh, just first impressions video of the Hyper uh, Scorpion Express. This is an incredible bike. We just took it out on the road and did a speed test. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys our first impressions. The very first impression is that it comes with a single key um, and it's an ignition key. So I can't start the bike without the key in the ignition. And it also comes with an alarm system and remote. I think this is one of the coolest features of the bike right off the bat. And you can check that out in one of the other videos that we'll post here and above. First thing we're gonna talk about is the safety features. Um, it has side mirrors. I love that it has mirrors because that gives me the ability to see what's coming behind me. Uh, whether I'm in traffic commuting or if I'm on the bike pass, I can look to see if there's other riders coming up behind me. Uh, so that's a great feature. Uh, I love that the light system has both a low and a high beam. So you can manually just use the switch to turn the light uh, high beam, low beam, but it can stay on just with a thumb switch versus other bikes. They tend to put it into the um, acceleration system or some of the other controls. So I just like that there's a manual switch. The other safety component is a horn. No longer do we have the little side bells that go ding that you've seen on our other previous bikes. This is an actual horn and it's very loud. So this is the horn, it's very loud. People will definitely get out of the way. Um, I love the fact that there's a very loud horn because when people are in their cars or if you've ever been a motorcycle rider, you know that most of the people, especially in Southern California, they're just not paying attention to you. So the bright yellow color bike, I think is a win for um, this commuting bike. And then the horn. The other safety feature that I think is really important, both on the front of your bike and the back of your bike, the rear, it has a blinker system already built in. So if I am turning right, I can tell people both in front and behind me that I'm going to be making a right turn or to look out for something on the right. Same thing for the left. I think this is really important because the same just like in a car or another motorcycle, if you're actually on the street, you want to alert the drivers to where you're going. And so if I'm making a right, I want to let the people behind me know that I'm going to be making a right. Better communication on the road to both other riders and drivers is really important safety feature. So we love it. I also love that there's just an integrated brake light. As soon as I hit the brakes, the brake light comes on. So I think that's, an, again, another safety uh, feature that I love because, again, communicating with other riders and drivers is really important. All right, so now let's just talk about some of the just standard features that come with this bike. First, right out of the gate, the seat is extremely comfortable. Um, if you've watched some of our other videos, the seats, when you're on them for a long time, some that we've reviewed have been terrible. They've been really hard. This is a very plush seat, so it was really enjoyable to ride on this uh, for the amount of time that we were riding. So the, the seat riser right here, it's an add-on. You do have to pay a little extra, but it is nice if you're a taller rider. Um, so as this bike is being advertised, the Express version is more of a commuting bike, something to haul. Maybe you're doing deliveries, those types of things. Uh, the rack setup in the back is really robust. I mean, it is a huge rack. So I could put some of my coolers back here if I wanted to, if we were going, uh, let's say we're doing a picnic or a beach trip. This is a very big basket. We don't really know what the weight limit is uh, on the basket, but since it's integrated into the rear of the frame, I think that it can hold quite a bit of weight. The bike advertises as a 275 pound weight limit bike, uh, which my wife and I, if we were riding on this bike tandem, which isn't set up for that, but if we were, we'd be pushing the limit because we're uh, 300 pound total. So uh, do I think the bike can carry it? Yes. Uh, is it recommended? Uh, maybe not. As I said earlier, the, the ride itself was incredibly smooth and the seat was plush. But the other reason the ride is incredibly smooth is because it has dual suspension. So you can adjust the suspension in the front and in the back, um, you can really tell. So when you're going over bumps, curbs, um, rough parts in the road, you really do sense the comfortable ride based on the dual suspension. So it really uh, was a good choice for Juice to do dual suspension and you really notice it. So I think either if a rider was in the back or if you're carrying cargo, especially if you're transporting food or something like that, uh, it will limit the amount of really aggressive bumps by having the dual suspension. So in one of our other videos, as you can see here, uh, we did a speed test. And if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch that because it's really fun uh, and it really catalogs speed uh, in its fullness. So one of the things that we liked about it was right out of the gate, you really accelerate quickly. I think this is because it's the 52 volt version. It's got an 1800 watt peak power motor. It's a thousand watt uh, in its base, uh, which really, it really gets you up there. And I, I, I think 
with riding other bikes, I wasn't super confident that this bike was gonna have the amount of get up that it did, but I was wrong. So this bike really does accelerate really well, which is a safety feature. If I'm trying to get out of the way of traffic or other riders, I know that I can confidently zip around them. So I appreciate the speed and the power on this. Um, also the gearing, I love the micro shift gearing here. And I like that it's twist throttle. I, I don't particularly like the thumb gear changes. Uh, so I think that they did a really good job with this, as well as the handlebars themselves. This grip style has been my favorite so far. The, t the throttle itself is really smooth, really uh, responsive, and I like the thinness and the rubber grip of this. Uh, I think that it's comfortable while you're riding. You have a USB charger uh, if you wanted to charge any of your devices while you're riding. The display is very basic. Um, I tend to like the bigger color displays, especially if we're riding at night, uh, just because I find them helpful. But these, this display displays everything that you need it to. Um, so I don't think that that's really an issue. One of the other safety features that we do appreciate is that it's bright yellow uh, because drivers and other riders will definitely spot you. But if you don't like this yellow color and you're not a fan of this, this is actually the only color that it comes in. So that might be a potential con for you, um, but it's a great bike. So we've had the opportunity to test several e-bikes out. Uh, we're a big fan of e-bikes. And one of the most important things obviously is your battery life because you don't wanna get stuck on the road. Now it's moped style, so you can pedal if you do get stuck, but why buy an e-bike if you wanted to pedal? So uh, one of the things that we haven't had an opportunity to fully put to the test yet is the battery. Now this is a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery uh, and Juiced in the past doesn't have the best reputation of battery longevity uh, and integrity. So we're not sure exactly how far the battery will last uh, and go, but we're gonna put that to the test as well. So uh, we can't really comment whether that's a pro or a con yet, but as all the upgrades with the electronics and all of the bells and whistles, we're confident that Juiced made a good product. So uh, we're excited to test actually to see how the battery lasts. Now, a, a lot of the new bikes that we've tested have dual batteries and so the range is superior. However, this bike range advertises at 70 miles plus. So I think confidently with just the little testing that we've done with this bike so far, you can actually get the full 70 miles out of this ride. If you've seen in our other videos, my wife and I love to do tandem rides. So this does come with a feature where it has uh, some peg adapting mounts uh, to the side. So you could ultimately mount pegs if you'd like. Uh, so as you can see, this bike is step through. So it's very easy to just step through. So for female riders or maybe who people who are not that tall, it doesn't have this long bar in the middle. So I, I like the step through design. It just makes getting on and off the bike uh, a breeze. Another thing is the weight. This bike is not incredibly heavy. Uh, it's 90 pounds without the battery and it makes it easy to get it on and off the bike racks for us. Uh, we have another bike that is way heavier. Uh, and so this is actually a really balanced weighted bike. Uh, even when you're riding it, the weight dispersion. So I'm sitting here, cargo rack, battery. It just feels like a really well-balanced bike. And I really felt confident in my turns, even really sharp, aggressive turns. So. Uh, I think this is a really well-built bike. If you're interested, you can check out the links below. Uh, but I definitely recommend this bike. This is a great commuter bike option, especially if you're delivering or, or have the desire to carry any type of cargo. So that's it for us today at InGear. Continue to check out our videos and like and subscribe. And uh, uh, <laughs> 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 so awkward. <laughs> yeah.